can. It does. It depends what I'm doing, but but basically as little as possible. And then the movement is comes from the flexing of the fingers. It would not bother you, John, if you would have a sheen of gel that would be between the tip of your probe and the skin, and that you would not be defacing even the slightest amount of circulation. Because when, when I was talking to you, my entire arm weight was no. pushing down on that. No, no, it's, it, it's completely the opposite of standard, standard ultrasound. Because MSK is, is, should be, is, is the opposite. With, when you press on someone's tummy, when you press into, into soft tissue, the, the, the soft tissues bend like a trampoline, and that gives you stability in your probe Yes. when you're scanning an abdomen. So okay. the harder you press, not only does your picture get better, but you also get uh, more, more stability on the probe. When you're doing a musculoskeletal structure, you're on a convex surface, and the more you press, the less stable you are. See, that's imperative to get out, John. That, that, that is imperative to get out. So let me go back to the process of scanning. Well, look, this was supposed to be about me taking your time in about a 15-minute thing, only seeing if this could perfect. And the one thing I think we can get out of this is that if we don't go to a high-traffic time, I do yeah. think it's helpful. Would you agree? Yep, yep. I want to... I wanna, I want to go back really quick and I want to see whether, or better yet, to save you time, let me play with the concept of unloading the pressure of my wand or, or the probe on tissue. And the next time we set up, um, maybe, I, I also think that when I listen to the way you are trying to help me follow the nerve, yeah. there's a lot of... I don't know how come Greg can't see that his probe is 15 degrees off. And I think that's coming from your ability to interpret the, 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 the lines of the nerve. I just think that that has to be something that time and maybe appropriate explaining to me as to what that looks like. Um, I'm, not, I'm not guessing. <laughs> which direction, okay. I'm not guessing which direction things going. I'm not trying to use my anatomical model to tell me where, where the tissues are. You're looking the, the, at the nuances from what's I, coming from I, the image. I look at the, 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 the biceps tendon, whatever the, the bigger, whatever tendon it is. And if, if, if I'm, and because I only move my probe at 90, 90 degrees, it only ever goes like it's on a track. Doesn't go like this. No, it, it, it goes never like this. No, it does all this, but when I move, when I'm following something, it I'm I, I follow it like a train. My probe is on it, it is on tracks. Those tracks bend and go up like that, but in my mind they are always on a track, because as soon because if I'm having to slide, just to keep it in the middle, then I'm not pointing in the right direction because these are tubes. These are all tubes. <laughs> These are all fiber bundles. I get that. So, so, so they are go all those fibers. If, if you go back to your, to your, to your reasonably high grade maps, all the in, you know your standard differentials. It's all based on the principle that for the very short distances, for each very short distance, the structure is almost straight. Yes. So, so, so if you're following it, you should be in that plane. You should be going in a straight line. That's the direction of that straight line is changing all the time. But you are always going in a straight line. And then changing the angle to go in a different straight line. You yeah, are the not. Changes, the changes you're making has nothing to do with what Netter or another anatomist says happens. The Absolutely changes not. you're making has everything to do with what it's doing on the screen. And yes. there's a direct connection between what you're seeing on the screen uh, which again takes me to the point of where I believe I need to transfer over to what I'm seeing on the screen is exactly what I'm doing with my hand because I already am at the maximum of this CPU. And if I did that at 180 degrees off, I would, I, I would, interesting. And this is, and this comes back to how you train people in ultrasound. Yes. Because 
there, there is this temptation because we're training professionals. They all want to do the high level stuff. They all want to follow the nerve using their knowledge and everything like that. And I'm always taking them back. And what I was telling you about with the old boys that and people you know and talk with, I took them back and made them scan stuff that they didn't know where it went at all. You know, following random vessels because I wanted them to get like you're learning your obstetrics. You don't know which way the baby's lying. You've got to follow its arm, but it can have the arm here, here or here. It can turn around while you're doing it. So you're not fixed to any model of where it is. You're just looking at the picture. Is that true short axis? And you know it's true short axis because when you move along that palette knife cut, you know, that, that in, you stay in that direction, it stays bang in the middle of the screen and it doesn't get any thicker or thinner or doesn't fiddle around. You always have the shortest picture. When you wiggle your probe, it always gets bigger. If you're right short, yes, yes. Then, then any movement yes. makes it bigger. So it's, just like any movement uh, using angle of incident could make it change color, yeah. by, by keeping the, 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 the shape it's, uh, at the minimum, you are truly short axis. Yes, ultrasound is, is an exercise in bell curves. But you have to, when you're doing it, you go through the top. You, you only know when you've got to the top. When going further, makes it worse. So it gets better, 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 yes, better, better. Yes, 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 yes. And, yes. and so yes. You, it, it is always an exercise. I'm, I beat up my students. You know, you keep, the picture gets better when you change it. It looks like a good picture. That's not a reason to stop making that alteration. You make the alteration until it gets worse. And then you come back. And, <laughs> Brilliant. Yes. This is, this is, you know, that's where the cattle probably comes in. But you see, <laughs> I'm so glad we don't have that remotely, John. <laughs> well, we should. We should. It would, it would be so much better. <laughs> you know, you didn't. But because they, they stop. They, they see the good, they see the picture they want to see, the bright tendon or the yes, dark yes, tendon or whatever. Yes. You call the pathology and you go, and you stop. You see what, and that's what the brain's trained to do. You, you see your goal and you go for it. No. You see your goal, you go past it, you come back. Well, I will tell you what I'm, what, what, what I'm, what I'm getting from you is, is, is not only is the bell curve of um, brightness a function oh, yeah. of, of, of the angle yeah. of the incident, there's also that same curve when it comes to keeping the, yeah. the, the item as, as finely um, identified. Because if you see the item start to go like this, you're going oblique on it, even if you're not seeing fiber. So I'm, yes. I'm going to have to play with it. And, and you don't just, uh, the clarification of you saying, you don't just go to good, you go yes. to bad. So you yes. can come back and identify what go, is good. You've got to go back, bad to yeah. good. Fabulous. So we'll talk about this movement, which is the king of movements. Yeah? Yes. Where the probe travels along your finger. We'll call that translation. Okay. Yeah. I like just, that. Just so unambiguous. We call yes. that... You're translating the probe. All right. Uh, and that you're, you're always translating the probe and you make an adjustment to that translation. So if I'm saying turn the probe a little, you're still going to be translating it. And what I do is I go back all the time when I'm scanning. I'm just doing tiny movements, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. You know, better, you know, is it staying in the middle? It's going slightly off. You know, it's going slightly off. You're not doing off. this at the same time. No, I'm going you're backwards and this. forwards. I'm going... Is it staying in the middle? Is it staying in the middle? Turn it slightly. Is it staying in the middle? Is it staying in the middle? Yeah, all the time. Perfection. Yeah. I got you, buddy. It's like saying, sing on key. <laughs> a, person, a person has to work that out a little bit. Yeah. I, I see what's in front of me and, and I do have work to do. Um, Good. Have a go. Is there anything that you think the email content from Anthony will have that we could purchase to make this any better other than just playing our odds with, um, because you know, we're Americans, so we just throw money at stuff, John. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't see yet. I'm gonna go, go back onto the uh, thing and have a look at things we can play around with Zoom. Uh, I, I can't see, there doesn't look like, at the moment, a nice way where you can share two screens, but you might've found it. And have a look for that and see where that works. I just uh, don't want to degrade quality because your eyes have to be seeing what it, I'm seeing. It may well be that that's the issue. It might be, 
I don't know whether it's feasible, but it might be that it runs better or, or we could do more. It might take a little bit more on the editing side, but it might well be worth seeing if we can run either two Zooms or Zoom and FaceTime. Okay, so that we could get both perspectives. Yeah, there is in 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 terms of edit post yes, post yes. processing, yeah. it creates a layer of a layer of extra layer, but it may well be that we get more effective bandwidth and with if, that. So if if the nugget is not yeah. twenty minutes long, if 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 yeah. if it's there, there could be a lot of concentrated work on post processing that that yeah. that that could help a lot. Yep. John, you've been kind. Um, I don't know how 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 ready you are to take the, um, the the gut shots right now, or if you would prefer to write them to me. Or, no, I can. We can have a quick look, and you can see uh, what you think. Um, have I got it up here? Uh, I made a couple of notes. Uh, did was the MRI definitive regarding the um, else uh, lateral collateral ligament tear? Um, I was. I, I can I can actually pull up the MRI, but I'm not convinced that the that I'm not convinced that radiologists know what they're what they're looking at. So you yeah. know, I, I it's one of those things that they can come back and say what all they want, and it could be that the buddy wants to do surgery. You know, I I, yeah. I just I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, no, because because you uh, they they did look. There were a couple of times when uh, on the clip where you were saying and i tried to write down the times i can if you've got the time i'm just to get your video up because it was somewhere here i am um, uh, uh, right. focus i'll sound too yeah sorry your your video uh my first move to the actual image that we saw on the top left sorry i'm going to orient you do you like hearing yourself talk john it's not fun all right yeah no you i i'm i'm that's 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 sad actually because I thought your video was really nicely done. Uh, you're kind. No, I'm 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 but serious. You're, if the you're content well, is 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 bad, I don't care how you sound. You know, you can no, have what, anybody. No, what, what I mean is the way you the way you present it to, to the physios as, as the why oh. of the ultrasound. Oh, I think is probably better done than I've seen it. Uh, so so you know that, that that whole structured, sensible approach as to what what we achieve. And what uh, and what you break down, you know, I would pick at bits that I I didn't love, but uh, but I, but I I really did appreciate uh, the point you're making. If you uh, have time to pick at bits, I can yeah. trust your heart. I yeah. can't trust mean people. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that's all right. Um, when you were scanning the LCL, this was this was where I was I was slightly less comfortable. Yes, uh, yes I'm trying yes, to yes. think about sixteen. When I when I came down from biceps femoris and I couldn't yep. stay on the, the fib head. Let me share screen with you. That's probably the best bet. And I can, I can look at your video. So we share. And if I'm going up, share desktop. Two, yeah, that's it. There we go. So have you got it? Have you got my shared screen up? Yes. Yeah. So let's have a look on your video. Uh, and uh, 16. Yep, that was all right. Uh, I didn't love your hand cursor; it wobbled around a lot. Some of it, sometimes it looked good, but it, it, it thing. Where you're looking here, you see this bit. Oh, thank yeah. you. And you're saying oh. there's a tear there. Uh, there could be, uh, but the fact that this comes to an end. Yes. And then you see that can particularly on this part of the lcl can be slice thickness issue <laughs> i love that oh i love that because to me sometimes john yeah. I, I believe videos can allow you to stop it at a place where even shadowing can look certain ways uh, exactly and uh, and and the point is at this at this point depending on the angle you've got the knee at yes uh, yes yes thing, uh, this and this fluid here is actually probably part of the uh, 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 biceps femoris because the biceps femoris, a lot of it come often comes straight down onto the uh, uh, fibula head. I, but actually, I appreciate that. This is the stuff I want to hear. Keep talking. A, a lot of the quite a lot of the biceps femoris fibers 
sit like this and, and compress the uh, uh, lateral collateral ligament, uh, push it down. And uh, uh, so they bend it. So it looks, it suddenly goes, the LCL suddenly goes dark over it. Or if because you've got of the, the anisotropy, be, because and, the and, fibers and go those down. Fibers, and those fibers, you don't, you don't quite realize what they are, but they wrap around and quite a lot of the uh, uh, biceps actually attaches onto the uh, tibia. Wow. Superior to that. And comes around and wraps around there. So that's that's quite. That wasn't fluid uh, at all. Could I have could I have proved or disproved myself by doing compression on that? Would that no. would that? No, it it wouldn't it wouldn't have helped because actually that because you're around about the level of the uh, uh, fibula head, fibula head would would uh, absorb all that force. Okay. So so it's very hard to technically pressure that area. The way you prove it was by stopping stopping the probe over that dark area and then changing the angles of the uh, following following that dark scanning the dark area like an independent structure yes. so you don't go over it you, you don't point at it and you say fluid you say area of interest go follow it up one direction follow it back down change the angle of the probe come back up and down through the area uh and and see it, if it brightens up see if it changes yeah, i was just going to say so if you it, if if I could refine that down to fiber echoes, I've just taken yeah. the question out whether or not that's fluid. Yeah. Yes. You basically you 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 recognize an area that you're suspicious of, and then you have to challenge it. Yes. You have yes. To say yes. what are its what, what what's it attached to? What's it part of? Where to it? Where does it extend to? I, so, I, so what are, what is the extent of the structure and then what are what are its what's its nature and that's and and that would be how i would take it unless i got caught up in the and, and we all do we're all scanning away we think oh i think there's a tear there oh there's some fluid and you forget yeah Check. no can you and, quickly and what, go go ahead the other thing we the other thing i do with the lcl routinely and i don't see a lot of lcl pathology but I routinely scan it in short axis. But can you go back just a second on this video and look at the short axis and 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 Did fire at me because I'm telling you, you know, I I have I had a hard time actually even believing myself saying that that was the biceps femoris tendon, John. Yep. I, I I do know that the 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 hyperemia was definitely, um, you know. Yep. In, in that area, but what I don't know is, it, am I oblique on the biceps femoris there? Yes. So, and, and is the LCL even in that region where I have the arrow? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I suspect, yes. I can't tell which, uh, if, um, I don't know. Can I, let's see if I, if I can get this, the Clarius here to work. Uh, let me just have a look, Clarius, scanners. Can we talk? Is it going to work? May I may may I get this from you? Are you saying that as a matter of technique in education, my cursor is in the way and distracting because it moves too much? No, no. Just when you're when you were demon when you're demonstrating stuff in this video, if I can, where we go? Uh, it was it just uh, yeah it. The, the, you see how the cursor jumps around. Oh, I can play. If I just left it off the screen. No, when when you're showing things, it's it's just because there are repeated ones. It it just um, it uh, nails on the chalkboard. Yeah, it drives you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, not bad. Now, I say I I genuinely liked the video. I thought actually that is a very good way to present. Uh, the whole point of doing ultrasound in physio. I thought it was uh, good. Well, that, that means a lot. Uh, but I trust you to be um, uh, constructively critical, and that's what I'm listening for. Yeah. Let me. Let's just go. Uh, if you. St uh, if I. Uh, how do I just an oid blick? Uh, figure out what I'm doing. How do I end that share? Yeah, uh, where's my? Sh Am I still sharing that screen? Yes. Uh, right, I'm gonna have to play around a bit. 
because uh, I can't seem to. Let's go. Uh, Funny. Hmm. Yeah, and we'll we'll come back to this because I'm going to have to go and do stuff with the kids. Uh, okay. My, my, uh, but my, I was my... I was going to all I was going to do was uh, was have a look with you at the um, uh, at the way the LCL uh, interacts with the uh, uh, biceps, but I'm, but I think you you'll probably get that better looking at your own uh, at home or or, or, on, or on a patient, and you'll find that you get. Uh, uh, that, that it is quite a broad uh, multiple attachments and the way it uh, it interacts with the uh, the lateral collateral ligament means that it is a little bit dependent on the angle of the the hip uh, sorry the knee how much it presses on it but there is this often this sandwiching of it sometimes uh, and uh, and twisting of it so you do get these dark patches as as they buckle as the structures buckle and that was Fluid in the area was bollocks. Is that kind of what you were saying? Uh, <laughs> the, the, the fluid you were pointing to, I thought okay. was tendon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> John, thank you for uh, over-delivering this morning. And let's see if we can't um, uh, find a way of refining this down. Have a great day. Hey. We'll connect again. Cheers. Speak All to right. you next week. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. How do I? I don't know how I get out of this.